Okay guys, so as you guys know, we are in a very tense diplomatic situation where I could potentially get out of the war right now. Hmm. You know, kind of unscathed. I mean, the battle's been one-sided, I know that. Don't even get me wrong. But I'm wondering if I should give. So I will concede these two territories, concede the core of Borum to Pomerania, and I'll concede the core of... Where is Ascoli? Ascurius. No. And you know why? Because I'm not succeeding anything to the, uh... To the, uh... Um... What are they called? I'm not conceding anything to my arch nemesis of... Of wars. What are they called? Norwegians! That's their name! Yeah, I'm not conceding anything to them. I'm sorry, but they are not... They could, they could destroy me many times over, but I'm not conceding anything to those guys. What the heck? I hate when that happens. I hate when it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna win, and then all of a sudden they have like a big gigantic army somehow just randomly floating. It's like, what the heck? Get the Shamist. Okay, go send this army over here. This army is bigger than all those armies over there. So this army should have a fun time killing off everyone. Just go the long way. If you have to. We got alone. I know we did. We're gonna be. A, we're gonna have to go to war with one of the other like little mini tribes to to like get off of this war. I mean seriously. I'm not. I'm not even joking. We're probably gonna have to go to war against a couple different little mini tribes. Okay, yeah. These guys are running out of soldiers. That's what I mean. If you guys concede peace, and I mean just concede peace, we'll be happy. Okay, let's see. There are no soldiers possibly spawned that could definitely destroy me okay no I'm not I'm not going to be stupid I'm not going to attack that okay we're going to go right here and going to attack that okay let's go right here yep and just destroy the rest in high quality troops uh, reform tensions there we go. And yeah, it seems like they're trying to rush to go save their men. See, I still got enough of this to go. And yeah, they're gonna these Portuguese men are gonna eventually have to come over here. Lithuania is now low on the scaling ground, so let's see. Can we get out of this war with mediumly scathed battlegrounds? I don't wanna lose too much, honestly. I don't want to lose too much. I mean, it's sad that I'm going to have to give up something. So... Let's see, let's just give up something really small. You know, that won't really... See, this tax is better than this tax, that's weird. I didn't really get to either of these guys converting them. So let's see. Oh, honestly, it doesn't... We're about even in strength right now, but yeah, I should really just count my... I should just... I should take what I have and just go with it, because honestly... I lost, there is no doubt about that. And... Losing with this much dignity... Oh, so they occupy by the bone unit. Oh, they'll let me keep that? Really? Okay. We'll just keep it. There we go. There we go. That's all that had to happen. <laughs> oh gosh, that was actually a terrible war for them. I mean, seriously, if you guys think about it, all they gained was like one thing, and I get more administrative tech, which is what I was saving up for. Uh, feudal monarchy. I can go back to a feudal monarchy, and now let's see. How much behind am I? I'm back in green. Good. Alright. And now let's see. Who's the richest little city state of them all? Because I need to go steal money. Treasury. Cherokee. The Mali actually are the richest, but the Cherokee pretty much are right there. So if I go steal all their maximum wealth, 
3,850. Probably could get about 2,000 out of that. So let's go over there. Let's go meet our nice neighbors of Cherokee. And since we already have a Grand Explorer who's already done this once already, guys, I mean, he does it for all for everyone. We just got a new kind of soldier. Let's upgrade. Yeah. Uh, they finally understand that we pose. So they're finally, everyone's starting to, you know, get out of this little diplomatic thing against me. I think they're finally starting to realize I pose no threat to them. I'm glad they realize that. And holy shoot, I have a ton of money I owe. Like a ton. I'm like, look guys, if you guys look at my score, I'm at like negative 450. Oh gosh, and yeah, now I'm taking like excessively amounts. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to declare war and and go fight against the uh you know people because we this isn't good if we have this much you know problems in our land. Um, now they're all done with that and let's see how much did I kill? Oh, I still got most of our men back. That's pretty good. Let's go deal with this. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this war. Basically, we're basically doing this war not to get. Not to get, like, massive amounts of gold, we're doing this war just basically to get out of our massive amounts of debt. So, the Cherokee, where are they in terms of militaristic power? Again, I would imagine not too far up. I mean, if they even if they are, 25,000, that's a little bit more than the Cherokee were. Even if they were, though, the problem is, is that I can still raise much more than they can. Um, the sad part is I can easily do this easily. Go destroy them. Okay. Let's go. War exhaustion? Oh, shoot. I didn't even realize we had that much war exhaustion. Okay. There we go. Now we don't have any war exhaustion. Because all I did have to do is just spend it. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. We just have to... Like I said, I'm going to explore all the land first. And then I'll start actually dealing with the individual war. Because, as I said, I want to make sure that I know where all the land is before I start doing things. I think I just converted this province. Yep. So, just start destroying the Iroquois, Iroquois way of life. Because, I'm not necessarily tolerant of the Iroquois people. No, nothing against them. It's not like I just administrate ability. Let's see. Stability, modifier cost, yearly inflation reduction. That actually might be helpful. Severely helpful. We have a inflation reductionist. And we can go to a noble republic. That might actually be nice. But anyways, yeah. I'm going to explore all the rest of the land before I do anything. So I want to make sure that I know exactly... Well, actually, let's go... To... Yeah, let's just... I'm going to go just... Like I said, I want to make sure I know exactly where everything is in the future. That way we can easily, like... You know... It makes... It makes invasions in the future, especially in the future, much, much easier for everyone. I mean, everyone, if we know exactly where they all are. So yeah, we just charted out the rest of the Cherokee. Now we can go back and start go killing off all these. Wow, they have a lot of men, actually. To be honest, <laughs> uh, I don't really care about National Spice Holds. But wow, they actually have a decent amount of troops. Too bad they didn't group that any of that up. So let's just go on the warpath, go to crush them, go crush all these guys. Well, I'll go crush these guys then. Because these guys are going to think they have the power, even though they should know that they have basically no tech. And they're all dead, and now I send in more missionaries to go do more conversions. But I can't really do that because right now I'm dealing with massive amounts of revolts. Who would have known? It's all because of these guys. And this stupid religion, in a stupid conversionist way. So yeah, but at least I'm getting, I'm getting to the bottom, guys. We are almost religiously united. I mean, look at that. The Protestant religion is now completely strong in our country. That is good. That is really good, actually, because that means we are really getting to the point of just utter destruction right there. Okay, let's see. How many more troops do they have? Ten thousand. All right. It's not. I'm not quite to the point where I think I could just. Well, actually, let's see. I could easily defeat. Okay, yeah, actually, this is about the point where I can just easily defeat as many people as I want to, so I'm going to divide my men. And going to just go start destroying as many places as I can. Because that's what I do. Iron ore, yeah! So let's just start destroying as many places as I can. 
because it's not that hard to destroy Cherokee lands. Sorry, just really not. And they're sending in 6,000 men to go deal to fight me. Not necessarily the smartest idea because I'm going to corner them right there. And they think, I don't know why they thought that was an even battle. Like they just got schooled. I mean, that was not even, that was kind of sad how quickly that went. So now they should have even less. So yeah, they only have 11,000 left compared to my 31,000, which I'm not even really healed. I'm just kind of doing this war on the side. And I guess this is, I guess this is more of a feel-good war, I guess. You know, this is the war we kind of do just because we're like, oh gosh, that was a terrible war we went through. And I really do think I need this alliance with Great Britain, so I'm going to get this alliance with Great Britain. Because they're the only, like I said, they're the only other powerful Protestant nation in this game. So I think I'm going to, we're definitely going to basically become allies with them because, yeah. Family secret, scold, or claim. Uh, we could lose some prestige. So yeah, let's get let's get our merchant back, and these guys should be done with uh, conquesting. You guys go upwards. Go kill off this one soldier who thinks he can defeat me. Let's go right here, and it seems like there's an actual decent sized army. Then again, okay. Uh, see that these guys want to now pay me out but let's see let's see if they will accept my peace deal which I guess I am going somewhat for land this time I want to make sure that we gain a lot of land from here and I want basically as much gold as you can give me and by that I want at least 2,000 or how much gold can this offer me Let's see, let's see, how much can I get offered? Okay, 3,000, I need 77 more score. Okay, I can easily get that. No problemo. I mean, gosh, it's not going to take that much time to get that much gold. Okay, there's an actual decent sized army, so I think I'm going to wait right here, wait for this siege right there to finish. And then I'm going to group up both of my men, attack at the same time, destroy both of them. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Actually, I need to wait. Let's go like, you guys go around, and then we're going to group up. Because that's actually a decent sized army, and I don't want to be... I don't... I don't want to make sure that just by some chance they actually beat me. So I'm going to go right here, and go right there. Give it a second, and then go right there. Okay, and oh, they held their they held they held their ground for just a little bit. That was actually pretty cool. But I'm not. I think I'm gonna chase. I'm gonna quickly siege down this one, and then now that I've sieged down this one, okay, will they accept my peace? Because now I think that they are uh, defeated. And I want this too, actually, now. Yeah, I want this too. Yeah, I want all of this. Just so I could gain all this coastline. Look at that. That would gain me basically what I want. Because then I could just basically lock in everything. Yeah, let's just let's just keep fighting until we gain all what we want. Okay? Let's go up here, though, and go look for the final army resting place. Okay, there's a little bit of native uprising. I don't really mind that. Go destroy this big gigantic army right here. Or really, it's it's big to me. But it's really not that big. And we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go chase down this army. I mean, wow, this is just like. Yep. And now that we've defeated all the armies, now we can just go like just go like split up my men quite effectively, I mean. I shouldn't have to deal with any more natives. And that is and everyone, that is how you win a colonial war without really, really trying. The siege is over with. Keep going upwards. And the siege is over with. Okay, it's 92%. They should accept my deal, right? Yep. Okay, and I got all this land I wanted. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Send demands.
Oh gosh. And with that, I can become the defender of the faith again. Um Yeah, let's do it. So now we're defending the faith again. Now we're getting double the amount of conversion. Let's start converting all of these. These little tiny countries. That way they can it's these little tiny like places, that way we can instantly start doing stuff. I don't know why I instantly already get like reasons to uh for this, but I'm gonna start coining this. It's a much lower cost than actual ever coin, so that's pretty cool. Let's get cores right there too. Let's get cores right there too. Let's get cores on all this stuff. Okay, and now that we pay back all this, let's go pay back all of our debts. I mean, we had to pay back a lot. And there we go. Take a reduction in infamy. Uh, let's see, do we have infamy reduction? Oh gosh, I was so almost there. Oh, so close. So close to that infamy reduction. Uh, you are on level 11. Okay, so I'm not quite there. Anyways, there we go, guys. Another war bites the dust. I expanded a little bit. The Cherokee I'm now into the military to coalition against us. Really? Cherokee, you, you guys are no threat to me. Like, at all. And I just realized I could have been expanding my colonies a little bit more. Gosh, I feel stupid. Um, this, is, this line isn't really that valuable, so maybe not right here. Um, no reason why I want to do that line is because I want to block them. Maybe we should actually do this land. Because then I would complete my entire look of my colonies. I mean, with those two colonies right there, then we basically got everything we needed in our lands. And now we basically become like America. Now we have basically all of America's land, which would be nice. And just to make sure that these colonies don't die, I'm going to go send my troops up there to go, uh, casually convince the natives to our cause. A nation of the propelled states, your faithful... Who the heck made them my faithful ally? Uh, we have... We have warned... To start... The Wattenberg is allied with France, Bohemia, and Palestine. If we decline, you will, will get zero prestige. What? How is the Pope my ally? I... Honestly, I would think that would define everything that we did to become our own independent nation. Like, seriously, doesn't that, like, define everything? Just like... Oh, gosh. Um... Pope? Well, let's see. Who are you guys against? Let's see. I, I want to know who you guys are against. Wattenberg is allied with France. No. I don't know how I got an alliance with you guys. I don't even know. Oh! What? Wait, 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 wait. What? The Pope is... <laughs> the Pope is Protestant? <laughs> how the... Th what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. That. I, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but that right there made my day. The Pope is. 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 wow. Okay. I seriously gotta get this a lot. Oh, Nation of Olsenberg. Okay. I can accept this one. Because Bavaria. Well, it's Bavaria. I don't. Yeah, this is Bavaria, guys. Against. Um. Yeah, if I just. I just need to send, like, one army if I really needed to down there. So let's see. 14. Wow, they actually have a decent sized army. Okay, so maybe I actually do need to send a little bit more. Why are you guys just standing there, Portugal? I don't like that. You guys are just standing there in my sh in my place, just like right there. It's not quite uh normal. Um, gosh, I don't. Hmm. I actually does. It's only two provinces, but I don't think I could actually ever get to there. Oh well. I entered in this militaristic alliance, so 
Whatever happens, happens. Even though it would be nice to have a little bit more uh, Protestantism spread to the world. I mean, it would be nice, but I don't think... Gosh, I can't actually get to him. That's the problem. And I would get to him, but I can't actually get to him. I mean... Um... The shortest land route I could see is like through Lithuania, Bohemia, then Austria. Or maybe through Tuscany, through Austria. But that's going to take a while. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.